Hey guys, so finished the race. Um, I have no idea how I did, but I did want to give you an update. I'll, I'll post that after this. Um, I've only done about uh, 300, 400 miles this year. Um, so I really wasn't prepped um, to do a hundred mile, but I went ahead and went for it anyway. Um, that last mile, uh, when I was pulling into the parking lot, everything started hurting. My hips started hurting, my feet were hurting. The ride starts at the Harbor Club, which is right next to the power plant. So I guess that kind of makes sense why it would be called the Flower Power. Um, anyway, the, the day started off, it was really cloudy and overcast. In fact, it was starting to rain on us. It just sprinkled on us a little bit at the start of the race. Uh, so it was a little bit, a little bit cold. And uh, yeah, so we started out and the group I'm with, they're very fast. Um, so initially I tried to keep up with them. Uh, but it was pretty obvious I was not going to make it. it. It felt like they were sprinting the whole time, and, and I think they actually probably were. Uh, so the first of the race, they sprint, they get out ahead of everyone else, um, and I could, I just like, I can't, I can't keep up if I'm going to finish this thing. So I dropped off, and and just kept going, or kind of started going at my own pace. The the first hill we hit, uh, it's right by the dam. Uh, you you make a, a like a 180 degree switchback. And, and you come back and start climbing that hill. And that one was actually probably the longest climb we had on, on it, but it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was bad if, as long as you gear down and just keep a, a good solid cadence going. Anyway, I was pretty much riding alone. After that point, I was riding alone uh, the rest of the race, um, which was fine. It was a really nice, uh, nice ride. So all these hills, they're rollers, but they all have little kickers at the end. And it's like that just over and over and over again. So we just made the turn north for the 100. There's like no wind right now because we've got, we've got like a 20 mile an hour tailwind. So this additional 25 mile section I think is my favorite part so far. It's fairly easy. It's not, it's mostly rolling, small rolling hills. Um, I, because it was started at the, the, it was rainy at the first. I did not put sunscreen on, which I wish I had now. Um, but it, I was probably about six hours into the race and I was like, oh wait, the sun's out and it's really sunny. I did end up doing the 100 mile uh, piece of the race. Uh, I was debating with myself whether that was even smart. And I think in retrospect, it probably wasn't. Um, I am experiencing, uh, after the race, I am experiencing some hip pain and some outer knee pain, and I think that was just from uh, overuse or just not not being up to that level that I should have been at to do the 100 mile. Um, from a nutrition standpoint, I primarily do the, uh, the goo energy packets or the goo gels. Um, and the main reason I do those, or that's the main reason I like those on the recumbent, is I only feel like I ever, I'm just not that good at riding with no hands. Uh, so I always uh, have one hand on the bike. So anything you do from a food or standpoint, you've got to do one handed. And those to me are, are about the easiest to, to, to consume while riding. I did, uh, on this ride, I did end up walking three of the hills. Um, and I think I probably could have ridden them, but they just got in my head. They were very steep. And then there was one really, really long one. See, that's, that's what's tough, but there was one really long one at the beginning um, that you could see how far you had to go. Uh, and I think I was like, oh, I can't do it. And and I think it, it was just a matter, it wasn't necessarily super steep. It was just a matter I could see, wow, it's like a lot of climbing. And um, yeah, I just didn't stay on the bike and keep riding. Um, which I'm glad I got off and walked. I mean, that, hey, there's no shame in stopping and, and walking up a hill if you need to. Um, my goal is to finish the race, not necessarily kill myself trying to finish the race. So I did, I was able to cut about 30 minutes off of my total time. Um, even though my moving average was one mile an hour slower, 
uh, over my last hundred. So I'm at least getting better at managing uh, managing my stops. So the next ride is uh, True Grit in Fort Smith, and it's also going to be a hundred. I'm a little more excited about that ride because I do know the course extremely well, um, and I think I'll have a much better time, a much better chance of of putting in a good time there because I know where to push it and where I can back off a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's starting to get hot here. I think we just we we're now hitting 82 degree days riding, and um, yeah. So anyway, that's what I got. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Thanks.